This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Now you just consider two registers R1 as well as R2. Okay, these two registers are in series. The charge which leaves R1 must be entering R2, isn't it? Since current measures the rate of flow of charge, this means that same current I flows through R1 as well as R2. So, same current I is flowing through both the registers R1 and R2. So, by potential, by Ohm's law, we can write potential difference across R1. That is equal to V1 is equal to I R1. Okay. And similarly, potential difference across R2. That is V2 is equal to I R2. Then potential difference V across the combination of R1 and R2 is given by V1 plus V2. And hence we can write V is equal to V1 plus V2. This is the potential difference across the combination. So that is equal to I R1 plus into R1 plus R2. Okay, so this is as if the combination had an equivalent resistance R equivalent. So we can write R equivalent is equal to V by I which is equal to R1 plus R2. So the equivalent resistance here is in you know R1 plus R2. So if you increase the number of uh, so, if we have uh, three registers which are connected in series, then we can write uh, the equation as uh, the total potential across the combination as V is equal to I R1 plus I R2 plus I R3. Isn't it? So, this is equal to I R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this obviously can be extended to a series combination of any number of uh, N registers. So we can write the equivalent resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 plus it goes on till Rn if N registers are connected in series. Okay. Now you just consider parallel combination of two registers first. This one. So here we can see it is the parallel combination of two registers R1 and R2. So the charge that flows in at A from left flows out partly through R1 and partly through R2. Isn't it? Which means the current which is flowing in R1 and R2 is not same. So the current I, I1 and I2 as you can see in this figure are noted like this. And these are the rates of flow of charge at the points which are indicated. At point A at through R1 current I1 flows and through R2 current I2 flows. Okay. So, we can write the total current I as uh, across the combination as summation of uh, I1 and I2. So, the potential difference between points A and B is given by Ohm's law that is B is equal to I1 into R1. If you consider potential difference across R2 that is V is equal to I2 into R2. 
which means potential difference across R1 and R2 is same. Only the magnitude of current is different. So, I is equal to I1 plus I2. That is uh, V by R1 plus V by R2. Which is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. See if the combination was replaced by the equivalent resistance. Then that is I is equal to V by R equivalent. So, we can write 1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Okay. Now, if you take three registers, uh, registers which are connected in parallel, then in this case, we can write the current across the combination is equal to the summation of currents I1 plus I2 plus I3 across R1, R2 and R3 respectively, isn't it? But if you consider the potential difference across R1, R2 and R3, it is same, that is it is equal to V, that is I1, R1 or we can say I2, R2 or I3, R3. It will be same magnitude. Okay. So, now we can write the current I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. This we know. That is V is V into 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Okay. So, I is equal to V by R equivalent if you represent it with equivalent resistance. So, 1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. This is for the combination of three registers, isn't it? So, even this formula, we can extend it for N resistors which are connected in parallel. In that case, uh, the equivalent resistance, what will be the equivalent resistance for N resistor? You know, if you consider N resistors which are connected in uh, parallel, in that case, the equivalent resistance, that is 1 by R equivalent will be equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. It goes on till 1 by Rn. This is the equivalent resistance for the combination of N resistors which are connected in parallel. Isn't it? Now, these are all the formulas for equivalent resistance which can be used to, to find out the currents and even voltages in some complicated circuits. Okay. Now, you just consider one more uh, figure here, a circuit figure, the first one. So, you observe this figure in that there are three resistors R1, R2 and R3. R2 and R3 are in parallel, isn't it? Because they are connected between two same points, they are connected between B and C. So, these are in parallel and R1 is in series with the combination of R2 and R3. Isn't it? Yes. So, now, now we should uh, reduce this circuit in a simple way. Okay, we should uh, make this circuit simple. So, what we will do first, in the first step, we will uh, reduce this parallel combination of resistors that is R2 and R3 by finding the equivalent resistance. So, we already know the combi no, the formula to find the equivalent resistance that is equal to 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 
in this particular case. So if you take the LCM that is R2, R3, R3 plus R2 that is 1 by R equivalent. So R equivalent is equal to how much? R2, R3, R2 plus R3. Isn't it? This is the equivalent register, resistance of the two resistors which are connected in parallel. So now we will replace this uh, parallel combination with the equivalent resistance as you can see in the second figure. So R1 is in series with this uh, combination what we have calculated equivalent resistance value. Right. So now the circuit is simplified little. Now in this second case this R1 and R equivalent these two are connected in series combination because they are connected on end to end basis. Isn't it? So now we can find the equivalent resistance when two resistors are connected in series. So we know the formula that is R equivalent, we'll represent it with 1, 2, 3, is equal to R1 plus R equivalent 2, 3. Isn't it? So we'll, that is, we have, no, we completely removed this and we represented it with the equivalent resistance that is R equivalent 1, 2, 3. Okay. If the voltage between A and C is V, if you consider voltage between A and C as V, Okay, then current I is given by V by R equivalent 1, 2, 3, isn't it? The current across uh, this total combination we are considering. So, we know R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R equivalent 2, 3. Isn't it? And even we know this R equivalent is R2, R3 by R2 plus R3. Okay. Now if you take the LCM and if you simplify it further, Then we will get the complete uh, value of I. That is I is equal to V R2 plus R3 divided by R1 R2 plus R1 R3 plus R2 R3. So, this is the current across the total combination. This is the current across the total combination. Okay. Because we have considered the potential across AC. And then we have calculated 
the equivalent resistance between AC that is given by R equivalent 1, 2, 3. So now we are going to calculate the current across the combination that is current I which is given by V by R equivalent. So if you substitute the value of R equivalent, we get the total current across this combination, isn't it? So we already know R equivalent is R1 plus R equivalent 2, 3 and we know the value of R equivalent 2, 3 that is given by R2, R3 by R2 plus R3. So if you take the LCM, then we will get the total current value which is given by I is equal to V R2 plus R3 divided by R1 R2 plus R1 R3 plus R2 R3. So this is the current across the combination.